Good evening everybody! In our previous video we took an in-depth look at Buckethead's most significant album, Monsters and Robots. Today we'll take a look at what is arguably his most infamous album, I Need Five Minutes Alone. Woo! Released in 1997, the album was a collaboration between Buckethead and longtime friend and fellow Praxis and Guns N' Roses member Brian Bray Mantia, calling themselves Pieces. Oh my god, Pieces. Oh man. Pieces. It's exactly what you think it is. Pieces. If you're still into Pieces and, you know, doing duets, let's finish the pieces thing and you know let's do some gigs man i'm ready to play i want to do a couple things with you you know we've never played on stage and before i die i'd like to do that buckethead and brain began working on the project in early 1994 first shooting a promo video which included the now famous scene of buckethead being met at the airport by brain and his wife we're starting this band called pieces and buckethead is one of the members they would later shoot scenes at a cemetery, one of which would end up becoming the front cover of the album. Incidentally, the footage for the promo video was filmed on May 13th, 1994, Buckethead's 25th birthday, and the day his Death Cube K album Dreamatorium was released. I can't, I can't help him, I can't help him! Despite the promo being filmed in May of 1994, the album wouldn't be recorded until March of 96, and then later released only in Japan in early 1997, now making the original CD with the Japanese Obi strip pretty rare. We went into the studio, which I had this kind of ghetto studio in Berkeley, and you know, we would watch movies for 12 hours, then we would record for 12 hours, and we'd watch some more movies, eat some pizza, and then record wake up the next day and watch some movies and then record and then in the end we just we got pieces yeah <laughs> the album is by far buckethead's most infamous due to the fact that it features buckethead out of character singing and talking throughout the album And as if listening to Buckethead singing Silent Night wasn't enough, he also sings about a certain girl named Danielle Cheeks. Danielle Cheeks, I'm here to save you. Danielle Cheeks, I'm here to save you. I kept talking about some like porn chick or whatever, and I think her name was Danielle Cheeks or something. So yeah, yeah. It was one of those things where it was just like whatever was happening at that moment, we just would write it down, or it became that. All the all that stuff was coming from me. Mm -hmm. That was like because buckets, you know, clean. He's clean and his, yeah. you know, yeah. He doesn't. That's he just likes horror and that stuff. Yep, Buckethead sang a ballad about a porn star called Danielle Cheeks. Incidentally, the song Danielle would later appear on Buckethead's classic album Colma under the name Wishing Well, but thankfully without the lyrics. I Need Five Minutes Alone also features a rap song called Bobify Crucify, which, unless I'm hearing things, briefly seems to mention Buckethead's dad, Tom Carroll. And as for the origins of the name Pieces... And Bucket kept singing this about Pieces, like, you know, I think it was a movie called Pieces or something, I'm not even <laughs> sure, and so... Pieces! 
Warning. What you will see in the movie Pieces cannot be revealed. <laughs> cannot even be imagined. And you don't have to go to Texas for a chainsaw massacre. But there's an aunt. She lives an hour away. I'll call her and take him over there. Oh, this is terrible. Pieces. Many years later on the Buckethead Land 2 album, during the song Carpal Tunnel Tom Talker, Buckethead's sister could also be heard using the Pieces tagline. Some of the rides are liable to go off the tracks and you'll never know where they'll end up or in how many pieces. And as for the name of the album... I think we were just wearing each other out. And we were both like, dude, we just need five minutes alone. And, you know, it was just like, we were with each other for so long, we were just like, we couldn't take it. While I Need Five Minutes Alone might not be a go-to album for most Buckethead fans, it certainly has its moments. The songs Twice With The Sledge and Hazelnut Cream Pie are by far the standout songs and are definitely worth a listen. And hearing Buckethead sing is a cool treat for the hardcore fan, and something we're not likely to hear ever again. Overall, the album is not Buckethead's best and the casual fan might not get much out of it. But when it comes to Buckethead history, I Need Five Minutes Alone is by far his most infamous album. So if you haven't heard it yet, what are you waiting for? Hello? Pieces. Pieces. I want an eight. Uh, hold on. Welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order? Yeah, I'd like a eight piece, um, eight, or uh, chicken, eight pieces. <laughs>